We are D and Allie. Come along and join us aboard Journey. Oh, oh yeah, seasons change. No promise of tomorrow, but that's okay. Just live in the moment day by day. We leave Jacksonville's Sister Creek free dock at high tide. Maybe it was a king tide, but the boat ramp didn't even look like a boat ramp. Yeah, that is a boat ramp with the crazy high tides right now. We're making a short run to north of St. Augustine. We anchored in a beautiful spot just off ICW called Pine Island South. Perfect spot for us for the night away from busy St. Augustine. The next day we passed through St. Augustine and the beautiful homes aloft from the ICW, including this. Do you think these guys know that sign is there? Hmm. We cruised into Daytona Beach for a few days where we explored the beach, found a chalkboard bar, yes, got some shots of Journey from the shore, and enjoyed watching some nightlife from Journey's front deck. All right, so we're anchored in Daytona Beach. Just toward the beach is this bungee. Obviously, an amusement park is over there. And look for the glowing lights that will go between those two. Well, I called them the Christmas sticks at first till we realized what it really was. And you will see a person. And they have like a little reflecting, rotating light, I guess, on them when they go up. It's a little windy in Daytona. Oh, okay, it's just breezy. I shouldn't say windy. Because we left Georgetown, we had 50, not wind, so this is like a light breeze. But it's a little breezy. But I can't complain since it's been, you know, 72 today. With only a low of 66 and it's freezing in North Carolina right now. There he goes. You see? <gasps> that is high. That is a person. That is a person. <laughs> I'm surprised we can't hear him screaming from here, honestly, but the wind is blowing in the other direction, blowing away from us, so that might explain that. And there's number three. And I think they get a four. Oh, they might actually get a five. They're about halfway, I think, when it's over. That's probably going to do it for them. I can see them just over the trees. Now they just drop below. And their ride is over. This stock not far from where we anchored seemed to be home to lots and lots of seagulls. I'm not sure what to even say about this picture. Our next stop was New Smyrna Beach for some time on the dock and to let some weather pass. We enjoyed the pool. Finally time to make bread in my new bread machine. And off to use the new to us folding bikes to make a Publix run and explore the beach area. It was a great stop. We pulled into Titusville for fuel and got a glimpse of Revel on a mooring ball. Wish we were stopping and could get to know them better, but we are off to the free city docks at Cocoa Village. We arrived to one spot just for us. From here, we could walk to a Dunkin' Donuts and get some good Wi-Fi and coffee to work. And we ended the day at Ryan's Pizza and Pub with a great view of Journey and a large slice of pizza. After another few days, we continued south down the Indian River and caught this plane circling. Not sure if they were just having fun or spraying. If you ask me, I'm going with having fun. We anchored in Vero Beach. The no wake zone is tight here and we rolled a lot in this anchorage, but the sunset, well, it was stunning. So we were up early and off out in the Fort Pierce Inlet and 
down to Lake Worth to anchor in West Palm before the next storm arrived. It was a beautiful, smooth ride down to West Palm in the Lake Worth Inlet. A little exploring around West Palm, but mostly waiting for the weather to pass. This was a big storm across Florida, but we ended up being fortunate. It was not that much in West Palm. But before we head on south, we catch a rocket one night going up from Cape Canaveral. Finally, we're able to relocate back close to the Lake Worth Inlet for a quick out and plan to head all the way to Miami. But it didn't take long before our ride got really rough and we managed a few bad hours before heading into the Port Everglade Inlet near Fort Lauderdale. We finished a long day waiting for a bridge in Miami, and then finally free of Miami, we head into a new anchorage that we really love near No Name Harbor, called Hurricane Harbor. It was a really quiet overnight, which we needed after that rough ride. The next morning is a perfect morning, and the sky is just beautiful as we head across Biscayne Bay and leave Miami behind. As we arrive into Key Largo, we are always greeted by dolphins, who spent quite a while in our wake. We caught this stunning synchronized jump just for us. <laughs> we passed the Legata heading north, who are now spending their summer in Maine. Before heading into Ala Mirada to anchor, enjoy a beautiful anchorage with a stunning sunset for our arrival back into the Keys. We head out of Ala Mirada and down to Marathon and tuck back into our favorite anchorage at Coco Plum to again hide from winds and see if we can get a mooring ball in Boot Key Harbor. What we learn is that the waiting list would be about three weeks. So we make reservations down at Bahia Honda for the next weather event and plan to head down there and try to figure out what our next move will be. This is our first time at Bahia Honda and we fell in love with this place. The people are great that volunteer and work here. They are so good to cruisers with free ice and a drink each day. The sunsets are spectacular. The weather's not giving us much of a break and we can't find a permanent home in the Keys for a month. So we're off to spend the month of February in Naples. Enjoy the sunset. Living in the moment, life full of enjoyment. 